Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This is Cosmo Not Mostly. And yeah, I've wound time forward um, a, ch a chunk of a year, six months or, or so. Uh, we're into spring, well, possibly into summer now. And uh, a bunch of the road layout over here in this uh, food factory area is complete. Uh, there's one more bit of non-electrified rail construction to complete down here, right? Uh, the rail yard operation up here is constructed without the electrics. And that's going to be um, the foundation for this, uh, this week's episode. So we're going to continue completing the road business down here. Uh, I'm also going to start construction on the smaller uh, buildings here. Yep. Uh, that we can reach by road. These aren't reachable. These two are big and they're going to take a, a lot of resources. I don't want to suck that up for a long time. So, uh, what the uh, plan for for this episode is i need to get heat down here um probably about here uh and i was scoping it out uh, this heating plant has uh, capacity um left over uh it's uh, uh using uh well it produces um Um, well, what does it, how much does it uh, produce? Uh, well, isn't right. Uh, well, let's just go in here. Um, the heating plant, it produces, um, 210 gigajoules, um, uh, oh yeah, the the water, uh, thousand fifty square meters. Um, and these these guys use three hundred square meters, right? Uh, so if I were to put a, a heating substation down here. Uh, I think I can get a pipe all the way down there. I uh, come along parallel to this and then split off and then come down this way, I think. Uh, and that will heat, that should heat this area. Yeah, because with it up there, it reaches there. Um, well, let's just uh, check something here. We'll go with a large residential building. We'll go with, yeah, if we put that one there, uh, we don't, uh, we don't get, we don't, re well, we do reach the heat down to, uh, oh yeah, we, we can reach the heat down to there. Okay. So that means I should be able to put it down here. Uh, so I'm going to rough that in. Um, actually, the, f the first thing I'm going to do uh, is uh, uh, go in here, uh, go in here, select electrified rail, and do, no, and do this, yeah, and then go up here and do uh, this. Hello, autosave. Right, okay. So that gets, uh, gets that scheduled for electrification. Good. Now, some of that should auto find, so I'll just let that tick along in the background for a bit. But we'll put a heat exchanger down here. And I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah. 
and I can put it right about, do I want to put it here? Yeah, I think I do. That's dead-ish space, so I can put it there. That means I need some sort of a uh, road into it. Gravel will do just fine. Yeah, okay, so build that. Um, let's uh, get that scheduled, just because it's going to be uh, important to have it. Okay. Now, down here, yeah, we're still building the rest of the bridge there. Uh, how's this bridge coming along? Uh, oh, it's not that far off of done. Okay. After that's done, I need to get uh, these bits of road built. And then I can build these two food factories. And then I'll queue up the uh, uh, silo and the warehouse. Right? Meanwhile, however, let's, uh, let's grab a pipe. Now... Can I get it over the road? I can. Okay. Now I probably want to come elevated all the way up here. Uh, yeah, I probably do. Uh, probably about to there. And it's going to be too long, obviously. Uh, right. And then this up to here, then up to here, then over to here. Yep. And then this pipe. Yeah, it is going to be too long. Okay. So we'll come out of here uh, like that. Come along here like this. Okay. Now, if I break it here, I think it'll be fine, so we'll cancel the pipe here. Because I, I can fit a pumping station in there. And then we go up here and we connect it. Yes, okay. Now, a pumping station, I'll need to put that, say, about here. Uh... Yeah, like this. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. You know what? Cancel that road. Uh, cancel the road. Yeah, cancel the road. Um, good. Now, you're going to have to put the road back. Yeah, but I'm going to put it back like this. Right, okay, you're going to put it back like that. Uh, okay, now grab your heating pipes again. And then you can go in here. You can clearly not go in there, so I'm going to have to cancel that back a bit further. To about there, perhaps. And then put that in like that those okay so in theory that should get heat down to that heat exchanger it should okay that roads built okay so oh that bits built so I can queue that up okay and I can queue this up and this bit of pipe yep oh Ah, I'm going to have a second bit of pipe on that one. Uh, this bit of pipe can also queue up. Yep. I hope they fix this on uh, the Cosmonaut thing so that when you get this split, uh, it doesn't uh, make it impossible to build if you get one of those in the middle of a pipeline. Right. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, a gravel road getting constructed there. We're going to use up a bunch of steel for the heating pipe there. This should also catch the uh, fire station down here, and uh, that should uh, reduce the uh, the heat uh, issue down there. Yeah. Oh, that road's just about done. Uh, okay. So, 
let that finish and then I'll I'll assign all of this stuff then we get then the heat pipeline is uh, is happening now we're gonna lose a bit of heat in the pipeline getting down there but uh, I think it'll be enough uh, so assign that assign that and assign that okay so we should be good there okay um, good now we're constructing a bunch of stuff here uh, it's gonna take a bunch of steel um, what does this need uh, I didn't build that as uh, wooden ties did I that would have that would just be, be brutal if I did uh, I must have because here it didn't erase the tracks oops yeah that's uh, um, yeah I wish you could electrify wooden tracks as well that would be nice now what is this that's a police station and that's a secret police okay uh, a buildings on fire yeah that's fine uh, okay. Oh, we're uh, making progress here. Uh, we've done stage one. Uh, yeah, so that's going to need uh, asphalt and uh, all and labor and all that jazz. Uh, it'll get done. Uh, okay, so that's got that. Right. Okay. So we've got heat coming down in there. I'm going to need more residential down in here as well. Uh, that's one of the reasons for the heat. Uh, oh, one thing I did while you were away is I put another kindergarten up here because these guys were showing too many people can work because of um, a uh, lack of uh, kindergarten, right? Uh, so we're producing steel at a, a pretty solid rate here. Uh, we are using it pretty quickly at the moment to build uh, stuff, right? Um, uh, and that is, uh, just the way things are, right? Uh, yeah, it's going to take a bit to build all of that. Uh, oh, there's the asphalt coming for this little bit of road. Yeah. Uh, once this bit's built, then I, uh, I queue these two up. Those get built, then I can build these, right? Uh, we've got our train station is built over here. Uh, we've got, yeah. And here, ah, we're we're building some stuff. Yay. Uh, okay. Now, I'm going to check in over here. Under our rubles loans, we're down to seven and a half million owed, right? And we have a million in the bank, so we can actually pay this off. Pay one more of them off. And now we owe 6.7 million. And note that we're down to 185k every month, right? So, and if you take a look at our cash flow, we've got uh, 300 to 500k monthly, right? So, uh, yeah, we don't need a uh, a big uh, a big amount of production here to uh, keep things ticking along. Now, uh, what stop production? heating plant but you haven't um, okay uh, but anyway uh, I've been paying off the the loan that's the furthest out uh, just uh, just to uh, get rid of them faster right I could let them tick along in the background it costs the same basically but I, I just didn't see the uh, the particular uh, benefit in just letting them hang around right when I can just get rid of them so they're not on the books anymore uh, we have our pipe is actually being constructed how's this guy doing just waiting for labor and mechanisms uh, okay uh, okay so we're we're doing okay here uh, this bit are we are waiting for uh, bits and bobs steel and the electronic components okay uh, those will arrive 
and then it will build it and then um yeah that'll be that'll be pretty solid uh that'll be the steel going for somewhere where are you going for probably coming into here yeah that'd be my guess well it's not a guess you can see where it's going there we go we have another food factory um yeah we got people coming down here to work already so yeah i just want to get the uh the current uh batch of uh construction uh sorted out uh, before the uh before i queue up a bunch of uh, residential buildings right now uh, let's uh, jump into the uh, rail construction office and see what's queued up. Uh, where are you? You are down here. Okay, so we've got those queued up. Um, no, uh, we can, I think we can also queue these ones up. Yeah. And then we can go up here. And queue those ones up. Yeah, and that'll get things uh, ticking along up there as well. Uh, when it does these ones, it won't take very long because it can do like a huge stretch of uh, of uh, rail uh, electrified all at once, right? Um, okay. <clears throat> now, where are we with um, construction down here? Do we have the, the vehicles coming? Uh, we do have buses coming. Uh, this is uh, one of the side effects of not building new other construction offices closer by. Uh, it takes a while for the stuff to get there, right? Okay, yeah. So here we have the uh, the uh, track builder thing. Yeah, I must have had those on wooden tracks when I built them. Oops. Um, okay, so I'm going to rough in uh, some uh, residential up here. Uh, no, that I need to click down here. Now, we're going to go with uh, these ones. No, no, I'm going to go with... Um, uh, quality 89, 91... I'm going to go with these ones. Um, I'm going to build a row of them coming down like this. Okay. One, two, three, four, uh, five. I'm going to put six of them. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, that's fine. Um, then we're going to go here and grab paths and bring it out to the uh, main road. Yeah. Because that'll get them access to everything down there. Yeah. Uh, so I can go ahead and uh, assign the paths. Those just need gravel and mechanisms because they're long enough. Uh, I think I can sneak a road through here and I might want to, but I think I'll, I'll put a road across here. Uh, so I'll just grab this. I'll put the grid on. Nope, I can't come through there, but I can come through there. You can put it there. Yep. Why am I putting a road there? It's so that traffic can shortcut. And I'm going to end up putting like another road through here somewhere. But I'm going to put another few rows of these in here, probably ultimately. Uh, because we've got uh, services over here already, right? And uh, we've got, we're going to have quite a few jobs available over here and over here 
and, uh, and you know in these guys uh, so I might as well do that um, okay now this is going to be a space for this 189 right um, we're not going to get citizens of these I'm just going to let people move in yeah Yeah, we're just going to let people move in if they want to. Because uh, if we go over here, uh, we have uh, 21 plus without flat, 700. So we've got 700 people that can move in immediately as uh, these things open up. Um, okay, the road is done there, so we can assign these two. Yep, okay. Now this is kind of neat. Uh, the 3D model for this building is accurate enough that we could actually put the road uh, over top of part of it, the bridge. Uh, it's the only way this operation here works. I don't know how, how well it will uh, actually work when it gets over into the, uh, the actual... Um, Uh, constructed business there uh, like how how good it'll it'll actually look but it allowed me to get this bridge in here and uh, make this setup work without having to move this or uh, do some other things uh, you know uh, is these things have a, a maximum length right and I didn't want to have to set this up with forklifts uh, I could have but I didn't want to uh, and that's that's why I uh, set everything up the way I did. I, I didn't want to use forklifts here. Uh, even the, the four ton capacity forklifts, uh, which have a pretty good, good throughput, uh, I, I didn't want to use those uh, in this. It looked cool with them running around. And then I could have just put a bunch of, uh, a few garages and a bunch of uh, junction points and all of that. Had a nice uh, complex operation going there. Um, it still would have, uh, it, it would have potentially limited throughput, maybe not, but I mean, it's it, it, forklifts are working for the steel operation up here just fine, right? So, uh, yeah, that's that's the reasoning anyway. Um, okay, so we're building those bits of road. We've got these paths built. Okay. This is built, that's built. Um, I'm just gonna queue that guy up. This needs 973 tons of concrete uh, and 251 tons of steel to, to build. So that's gonna take a little bit to build. This guy needs 277, no, 477 tons of concrete, 150 tons of steel, uh, 1600 tons of bricks, right? So that's going to take a while, right? Uh, and that's fine. Uh, I'm okay with that. Um, ultimately, the first thing I'll do once this rail is set up is I'll set up a train line bringing grain down from here. Oh, you can see we have, uh, we have crops that are growing. So we are going to be harvesting crops this year. Uh, and the idea is that I'll ultimately want uh, end up filling in a whole bunch of this area up here with farm fields, right? Uh, ultimately, also, I'll start construction on this rail line that, he that heads all the way up to the NATO border. Uh, that's going to take longer than this series is going to run for, but I'll start construction on it. Um, I just want to check what are... It doesn't say uh gravel the prefabs okay that is the concrete rail um should be anyway uh okay good uh now over here uh what are we uh, waiting for on these guys okay we just did asphalt uh so now we're doing the uh we're up to the lighting and everything yeah, okay. So those will finish up. Yep. 
Okay, so we are going to have a, several excavators in here. Uh, gravel, asphalt, concrete. Yeah, okay, so that's that's ticking along nicely. Um, okay. So Groundworks is ticking along. It'll take a minute. Yeah, we got the resources coming to finish the roads here. Once this whole operation is done and food is being produced, then I will set this up as a food distribution point. And it will take from here and deliver to the uh, warehouses here, or the uh, stores. And, from the, and then I'll take it off of the other logistics. And from there... Um, not sure, uh, but it, it should, it, it should improve food distribution at the very least. Uh, okay. And you, okay, you have everything you need, so you just need workers, uh, which you have one of. But you're not going to get finished. Okay, that's the, the last gravel there. So we need a couple busloads to turn up. Okay, yeah. Right. Okay, that will get sorted out this, uh, this episode. That's cool. Um, right, this is going to soak up labor as well. But it will, it won't soak it up forever. Uh, it's actually ticking along pretty quickly. Uh, it's just a question, next step will be a question of how much, uh, how long it takes the uh, 250 tons of steel and 850 tons of concrete to arrive, right? Ah, we're going to sort out one of these bits of roads here. That one. Okay, that is done. Cue that up. And the next, uh, this one, does it have a uh, bus coming? It does. Has a couple of them coming. That's overkill. Um, that's the other thing. It'd be cool if the uh, system actually understood overkill and would uh, spread resource deliveries out a little bit better uh, for labor. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, that is going to finish. There we go. And we can queue that one up. Okay, good. Okay, is this fully operational now? It is. So down here, we have heat coming in. Yeah, the, uh, the water temperature is uh, a bit low, but that I think should be better than nothing in the winter. So, um, not sure it'll be enough, but uh, is here, eh. Right. So how's this? Uh, okay. So this stage needs all of the rest of the resources. Okay. It's going to take a while to bring all of that down. Uh, however, it will all get there. Yeah, it will all get there. And eventually the thing will be built. Um... Right. See, if I had a construction office with, uh, uh, you know, with um, uh, open hulls here, then it could be delivering the steel in like five seconds, right? Um, but this is a Soviet republic, right? So we got to do things the inefficient way. Uh, no, it's not role playing. It's laziness. Well, maybe that is role playing. Who knows? Uh, right. So as we can see, it's uh, you know just ticking along here. 
Uh, we're not exporting a lot of steel right now when we're using all of it, <laughs> uh, I would imagine. Uh, but it is, uh, of course, going to... Um, uh, you know, it'll, it'll get back to doing that. Um, how... Okay, so we are we are going to be spending a lot of time delivering resources to that, and that is fine. Okay. Now let's uh, let's just take a look at rail construction here. We've got several of these things constructed. Um, I want to come back up here, uh, and I want to come down here. Okay, those bits are queued up. Good. And up here, these bits are still queued up. Okay, good. This is all uh, perfectly acceptable. It will, uh, it will get things. It'll keep things rolling. Okay, good. Now uh, we're at uh, almost half a million up here. Uh, so it won't be that long before we can actually pay off all of the rubles, loans in rubles, right? Uh, meanwhile, we've got stuff coming down here. Like these things are going to take a lot less uh, time to uh, construct. Uh, they're using bricks and boards and a little bit of steel. So uh, we've got lots of stuff that can be delivered there. Uh, yeah, getting the bricks in, getting the uh, boards in. Uh, ultimately, we'll end up getting the steel in too. But it'll take a while. Yeah, uh, so you can see quite a lot of stuff is getting delivered here. Uh, the bricks are coming in. Uh, we're going to use up quite a few of them. Right. Okay, we've got... Another couple trucks full of boards. That won't quite be all of it. Nope, not quite. Uh, another few truckloads of bricks, and then... A whole boatload of steel, but first we need to get all the boatloads of steel into here. And it's not that bad, actually. Uh, it's taking a long time for the concrete to come down for obvious reasons. Where are you going? Ah. Uh. Where are you going? You're going for gas. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, ah, we're delivering bricks into here, too. Okay. Right. And this here... Yeah, we, we're going to need... Oh, are we bringing our steel down here, too? Ah, uh, that'll get these these built a little bit faster. Yeah. It, I think it does some sort of a round robin thing when it's deciding where to go next. Uh, it'd be nice if it would prioritize buildings in the order that they're uh, in the queue, but it doesn't do that. And even if it's meant to, then it doesn't work. Um, I think the idea is so it doesn't starve the uh, constructions, but yeah whatever so there's another 20 tons of steel in there right so yeah and we're bringing how much do these things carry 12 tons of concrete so every concrete truck brings 12 tons in uh, we need 530 tons uh, so that's uh, 40 50 truckloads still that's actually uh, a realistic for a building like this. Uh, it takes a lot of concrete to build something like this, and it does come in in loads and loads of truckloads. Uh, yeah, it's uh, um, 
they, they come in very large trucks to minimize the number of truckloads, but it does take a lot of time to get it all in there. That's, this is exactly why I don't find this to be cheaty. And this one also because of the resource requirements to build it. I don't find it to be cheaty. Uh, right. Anyway, that's, uh, that's that. Um, okay. Now what are we... Uh, Okay, where are you going? You were just at unfinished rail down here. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, that will, uh, that will keep uh, ticking along, doing its thing. Yep. Uh, how are these guys coming along? Okay, so you're waiting for a couple of boards. You're waiting for some bricks and steel. You're waiting for bricks and steel as well. Okay. Well, that's going to take a little bit yet to, uh, to build. Now, it's August. And as you can see, harvest is well underway. These small bits are done. And in here, we are accumulating uh, grain, right? Our crops are in here. And this is the, uh, the construction office business here, or distribution office business here, uh, collecting all of the, uh, the, 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 the crops from the fields. Uh, so if you take a look here, we've got a bunch of stuff here. All of the trucks are out. Um, so you take a look. Uh, where are you, you headed? You're probably headed here. So it'll come in. Nope. You're full then. Right. Okay. So... You are going somewhere. Yeah, so we come in here, we load up a truck full of, uh, of grain, right? 12 tons, and we take it on. And these guys will keep doing that until the, the fields are empty. And the, or this guy is full, right? And this actually has pretty good throughput because of the two um, roads, one in, one out. It, uh, it actually uh, prevents some bottlenecking. Uh, but we're up to 1,500 uh, tons of uh, crops in here, right? And uh, it's just going to keep going up. Uh, and then uh, once the track's done, we'll have rail bringing stuff down into here, right? And I'll probably, uh, if we have enough crops going on, I'll build another uh, a rail connection, bringing them down, bringing it down into, uh, say, a uh, distillery or something, right? Uh, yeah. So, how are these guys doing? Uh, just waiting for steel there. Uh huh. And here we're. Uh, well, it's half the concrete has come now. Yeah, and waiting for steel. Okay. Uh, this guy, that'll be the last bit of bricks. Okay. Um, right, okay. So, uh, yeah, because we're schlepping steel from here uh, up to the uh, thing up here. Yeah. Um, I should probably change the steel source down to the, uh, the storage here. Yeah, or just create a steel supply construction office or something. Uh, but 
Yeah, I probably should do that. Uh, I'm not going to, though. Anyway. Uh, that's going to be enough for this, this episode, I think. Uh, we're just about done with all of this. Uh, let's just check in over here. Yeah, as you can see, we've got 600k in the uh, bank. Uh, we've got a year and a bit left on our, our uh, oldest loan. And uh, 710 to pay off anything else. Um, I could just pay that guy off. Not enough funds. Um, 313808. Return money. Okay. Go back. Uh, so that... Uh, yeah, we could pay off one more uh, loan. Now we're under six million owed, and that's. Uh, I bet if you were watching earlier on, you thought I was just digging a bigger and bigger and bigger hole, and I was never going to get out of it, right? Uh, well, here you go. Uh, I got out of it. Uh, or at least I will have got out of it by the time everything is uh, all in here, right? Uh, you might be wondering about the dollars loan. That's not a big deal. Uh, I'll be able to uh, pay that off uh, fairly quickly by sending a train or two up to the uh, custom house up there once I build the rail line. Or I could use a trick I outlined previously of buying power in rubles and selling it for dollars. Uh, it, it doesn't take much to do that. Uh, okay, so we've got... Uh, here we have almost all the concrete in and a fair chunk of the steel in uh, yep yeah. yeah just a few more truckloads of concrete uh, a little bit more steel and this construction will be finished yeah um so that's, uh, yeah, three more uh, concrete deliveries. There's two of them. Yep, and there's the last one. And then we need uh, three uh, truckloads of steel, uh, which I think... Let me just go up here. I'm going to change where the... Okay, you... Open hull operations. Uh, steel. Uh, we're going to go down here. And we're going to put that there okay yeah okay so if we go over here open hull operations yeah um, we go in here we assign uh, this Uh, that one, yeah. That one's correct. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Now, will it send the... Yes, it's going to send them down there. Okay. That's exactly what I want it to do. Okay. That'll speed up the steel stuff. Yeah, here we go. Uh, we're collecting steel directly from our uh, production point now. And then taking it where, where it needs to go. Uh, yeah. Okay. That will get this done a little bit faster. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's getting the steel into there. Um... We now need one more delivery of steel after this, and this one will finish. Um, 
that might be it. Yep, that's going to be it. And this building will finish. There we go. It's done. Uh, and these ones will finish up pretty quickly. Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, that definitely was the uh, the smart move. Uh, now we can supply steel at a much, much uh, faster rate. And that will allow constructions relying on it to finish faster. Uh, okay. Good. Now these just... These will need some... Uh, time with uh now i can queue that up okay good well uh that's going to be all for for this this episode uh on the way out the door i'm going to pay this guy off uh yep uh and now we're down to five and a half million so i'll just uh you know leave that uh, on the way out here, I'll just mention I have a Patreon if you want to support the channel, and uh, you know if not, that's fine too. Uh, it's uh, the links in the doobly doo if you're interested. Otherwise, you know my feelings won't be hurt at all. You know it's your money, put it where you want, right? And with that said, uh, that's all for now. So see you back next time.